Okay, welcome back to my Minecraft video. This is video number 10, I believe. So today I've decided that I'm going to head down and I'm going to mine and I'm going to mine really deep and I'm going to find something good. That's the plan. Um, I have absolutely no idea how that's going to go, but I've set myself a goal, and that's what I'm aiming for. Plenty of torches, got myself some picks so I can mine if I find anything good. Time to head down into the depths and see what we find. I'm really not seeing anything so far. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to see anything. It just means that I've laid some torches out really well. Or at least that's what it looks like I've done so far. Okay, just work my way down. I've come a fair way down this way before. I think this looks like a good place to to go all the way, go down deep basically. Um, good. Knew there was going to be some more iron in there. Sorry about the darkness. That was dumb. Let's try and put that somewhere where I'm not going to hit it this time. Okay. Not actually going to go in there for very long. I just wanted to put that torch up so you could see where I was going. <clears throat> okay, here we go. One down. My aim is to dig down until I hit bedrock. And once I hit bedrock, I'm going to come back up. Just a couple. Oops. And once I come back up, just a couple. That should give me what I need to be at the right level to maximize my chances of getting uh, redstone and gold and diamond. Ooh, another cave. Okay. Uh, sorry about the darkness. I've got to... need someone just to keep reminding me every now and then to just say, uh, excuse me, it's a bit dark. I know I watch a lot of other videos on YouTube and I think, wow, if only they could just put up some more light. I actually find that I've got my monitor set quite dark, so generally if I can see, it doesn't look too bad when it comes out for other people. So hopefully that's that's true in some of this case, that that lava is giving a bit of light and we'll throw another torch up there. Oh wow. This looks like it could be a good cavern. There's a bit of lava. Actually, there's a lot of lava and there's quite a bit of... Yeah, sorry, quite a bit of water and other things around here. Might actually get to make some obsidian. Which, of course, is really my ultimate goal. You know, the whole reason for finding diamond is so you can find obsidian and then once you find obsidian you make a nether portal and then once you've got what you need out of the nether portal you make some potions and then you get what you need to find the end and then you kill the dragon and then you win I think I'm getting, I must be getting close to low enough what I might just do is just dig here beside where I've got a bit of natural lava light down. Awesome redstone. Redstone was definitely on the cards for me to find. Just seemed I found it a little bit quicker than I thought I would, which is never a problem. It actually looks like I found quite a lot, which is good. Ah, uh, crap. That is not as good. Um... Hopefully that'll block that lava off. 
What if I get out of that? Eleven pieces. I mean, eleven pieces is definitely better than nothing, but... I was sure there was going to be a lot more just there for me to find. not to fall in the lava here while we click some more. I have this feeling that this is going to be quite deep. Um, once again one of the first rules of Minecraft is never dig directly above you. If you do you're just asking for bad things to happen. Digging almost on top of you is acceptable, which is what I was doing in that case. Um, okay, we've still got lava flowing, that's a problem. Ah, oh man, more lava, okay. <coughs> this was a bad place to dig. Time to find somewhere else to try. Ooh, lots of iron. Didn't even see that. Lots of gravel coming down. Now one of the reasons why you don't want to dig directly above you is just in case that does happen and a whole load of gravel comes down, you want to not be underneath. Mm. Stupid short arms. Let's try this. Hopefully that doesn't fall down into the lava. Perfect. Actually, perfect. Not a single piece fell in the lava. Unlike me. That's a very good chance of falling in the lava if I keep doing that. And again, lots more redstone. I don't actually have a plan of what to do with redstone, but I guess you can never have too much of, like, too much of it. Because when I work out what I'm going to do, I will be in good shape. Um, yeah, I can do that. There we go. Up, up. Excellent myself a little staircase. That's a little too hairy looking so let's just pack some more in there. Oh. Going to end in tears. You can just tell. Let's see what's up that way. I got a lock something that can block me. Cannot tell whether that's gold or iron. Think it's iron. Sorry about the darkness again. There we go, that's a bit better. It's iron again, so the fact that I'm getting all this iron and I haven't got that particle sort of effect that means I'm really really low means I've got a bit further south deep whatever whatever you call down to go I'm definitely finding heaps of redstone yeah 61 redstone that's really good I've actually been messing around recently with a modification called the Wizard Mod. I actually saw it, you know, on one of the Yogcast mod videos. And yeah, the the key to getting started in that mod is to find redstone. So that was pretty much what made me decide that I wanted to go down deep in this video and see what I could find. And if only I had it on my last video. <coughs> Sorry, not my last video. If only I had it on my game where I was playing the wizard mod. 
found half as much redstone, I'd have been in good position. Okay. <coughs> so from the wiki, from the wiki, the basic way you want to try and maximise your chances. Uh, darn it. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to hit the level where bedrock starts, which is that level just there, and that should be level five. And then coming up to the point where you can't see any bedrock, you should put your feet at level 7. And that should be 8, 9, and level 10. And it's around this 7 to 10 should be where you maximise your chances of finding the good minerals like diamond and things like that. So what I'm going to do now is start a little bit of a strip mine. Okay, so I've hit some more bedrock. Sorry, I'll put a torch up so you can see what I'm seeing. I've hit another piece of bedrock. That means I'm still a level too low. So we've got to go one more back up. To make sure we're at the right level. And something they added in Minecraft 1 that makes this much safer is the fact that they now have... Um, what do they call it? Oh yeah, those little tiny little drops that come off to say that you're standing right next to lava or the little drops that come off to say you're standing right next to you know water that's directly above you those things really help with making sure that you don't do something really dumb like open up a cavern of lava directly above your head and kill yourself they don't totally take away you know any chance of doing it but they certainly help reduce the chance. So there we go, so there is lava droplets dripping down, which means directly above that block is lava. So unless I'm feeling particularly game, which I'm not right now, that block is gonna stay right where it is. Darn it. Okay, so we have hit the limit as far as we can go in that direction. So as soon as I can't go any further, I'll put a torch just there and that should let me know that we don't want to go in that direction. What I will do though is I will put a torch just here and I will start mining in this direction. Now the basic way I do my strip mining is I start with one torch there which marks my spot and I count one, two and then do the next one, one, two, do the next one, one, two and then I would normally do the next torch there in this case that's not going to happen and then I mine three blocks looks like I mine myself into another cave is it? or just uh... that's... never seen that happen before that's... it's like there's gaps in the world what a pain. So yeah, so and then what I do is I count from here and go that's zero, which is the block the torch is in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then every seven blocks I put another torch up on the wall. And then so that I know where to go to with the next one, I mine three blocks through so that when the next path comes down it's going to hit that point there and I know that that's where the torch needs to go so by doing things this way I am maximise my chances of because I can see on this wall here and I can see on this wall here but when I dig this tunnel I'll be able to see this wall which is the one that I missed before so I'm basically ensuring that everywhere in a sort of a three high area around about where you have the best chance of spotting all that I'm checking basically the whole level. I mean there's obviously other ways you can dig where you can use explosives and you can do other different things like that but I've found that this is basically the most thorough way of digging. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. 
So let's count my way through again. We go one block, two block, three block, four block, five, six. This is the seventh block. Put a torch here. Dig one, two, three. Put a torch up there. And it looks like I'm not going to be going any further this way. This isn't the best example I could have possibly given about this kind of mining technique. Seeing some hitting lava at every turn. Oh, you know what I would really like to. Well, there you go. I've hit some redstone. So yeah, the chances of hitting the good ores is still, you know, it's still really low. But it's certainly better at this level than it is at any other level. Make sure I haven't missed any. And because the chance is so much better at these levels, you're definitely in the right place trying to dig at this. So that's where I put my torch up, so I knew I was in the right place. I will come back for all that coal, because coal is not really what I'm looking for now. I'm looking for <coughs> things of the blue variety. The downside of digging at this level is that lapis is less common at this level than it is a little bit higher. But unfortunately, diamond rolls off really, really quickly once you hit about 10. And so because of that, I don't think it's really worth the effort to go any higher up. I mean, even at this level where Lapis has quite a low chance of being found, it's still higher than your chance of finding Diamond, so... Okay, we've gone as far as we're going to go this way. So we'll... There's our spot. Dig through. One, two, three. This time so I don't have to keep replacing my torches, I'll put it in the second block. And I'll do the same thing here. I was really hoping that I would, you know, find a huge vein of diamond and lots of gold and yeah, maybe even some lapis in this little trip, but it hasn't turned out that way. Still found way more coal than I really need. <coughs> so right on this level right now where I'm starting to dig, this is going to line up with the next shaft that I dig. I still want to make sure I dig from this end just to just for the, the chance that I might miss something coming from the other way. So what I think I might do is I might stop this video here and say thank you very much for watching. You know, check out my subscriber specials and stay tuned. Thank you.